more Final Fantasy IX tonight. Just a little bit. This is not going to be a long stream of the game, but the time after this will be. Okay, um... So this was like a big moment in the game that just happened, um, that I left us off last time. And I've been listening to the music of this game, specifically this part of the game, and it still has the same effect on me as when I played it. So, good job, Uematsu. Zidane, why did you leave us? I'm so sorry. You were right. I need everybody's help. Don't leave again. Okay, never. We already went through this. What a busy guy coming and going all the time. This is actually just a replay. Just a second. Just fucking with the volume a little bit, getting the limiter set up. Okay. We are ready. Yeah, but not anymore. We have to stop Garland. Oh, yeah, that's right. A Moogle followed me all the way. Um, all right, we can work our way out of the, this depressing castle because we're all together now. All right. So I am taking Aiko and Vivi and Steiner. Aiko for her exceptional healing. And for bonus dialogue, apparently. What a bimbo! Is what Aiko said last time on stream. And of course, everyone lost their shit. Yep, nine flash hats. Gonna wear all nine of them, one on top of the other. Effectively um, increasing their usefulness times nine. Oh, right, right, right hidden item in the first room? What, like before this room? <laughs> cool burp, dude. Vinny, there's a bee in Minecraft. What do you think of that? Ah. I think that's... I think it's cool. I think it's super cool. Virus dude? Let's go back for that item. Oh, on the, the chair. I always wonder, like, why did Zidane get put in, like, a like a throne room. Like, what is this room? Why are there orifices? I wonder if it was some kind of clockwork orange thing. Probably not. That might just be my imagination. I mean, it works on a, a visual level. I like, it. I like that idea. That whole scene is just great. I love that scene that we just saw in the previous stream. So, 
and it works. Uh, fuck. Hey, you know, the thing. What, what did you drive to get here? Did you drive anything specific? Chocobo? Oh. I love Chocobo. No, that was Jay Leno. Ultra Leno's retired. Ultra Leno is when I pitch that voice up further. Yes, Diner can do max damage now. out you don't have to do anything oh no 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 you have to do something all right yeah End dungeon puzzles. So this isn't even the end of the game. It's close, but there's still quite a bit. Are those eyes on the wall? It's kind of like Silent Hill 2, yeah. hydrate now because my uh, my brain hurts still this headache has been really really nice if I could just pour the water directly onto my brain I would feel so much better was also in a Castlevania game and used locusts or, you know, whatever as, uh, as projectiles, right? If I'm not mistaken. Portrait of Ruin, yeah. That's crazy. That attack Steiner is crazy.
that Steiner and that BB figurine. I am so tempted to get that shit. It's a two pack. Shagor. Oh, they're not cheap, and they're imported too. Um, shit. Uh, any solutions here that I could just get? Like, what's the best thing to do here? If anyone knows, Vini, uh, Vini, you know you want the two pack of Queena and Amaranth. No. They released Freya and Beatrix recently. They did. I saw those. Now, Freya's cool. I, I like Freya. Um, I think as a fighter, she's really cool. As a character, she's cool. I like her design. I really... The only issue I have with Freya is that they don't give her much development past Disc 1. Like, the beginning of Disc 2, you get a little bit of development, and then... they're done. I mean, she's just, yeah, she just kind of is there afterwards. And I'm okay with that because, you know, her arc is more or less resolved. I feel like they could have given her a little bit more, but... It, to me, it's it's kind of cool how Zidane gets the development as late as he does. Because the whole game, he's helping other people. And he's kind of just, you know, positive, ultra positive, like, hero dude. Oh, that didn't work. Just like, you know, in a w weird way, Zidane is the antidote to Cloud and Squall. But almost it feels a little forced until you realize that the reason he is so positive is because he wants to fit in because he doesn't have a home. And he, that's his way of dealing with the same shit that they're going through. But when you get to this part of the game, you're like, oh, he's, he's really internally fucked up. By the end, when all this shit is dropped on him and he has to learn what it means to find out who he really is, the only way that he can really get through that is with everyone else coming to his rescue for the first time. He was there for them, then they have to be there for him. And it's just, it's just a nice little... It's a nice arc. So I get it. Some people aren't into Zidane. They don't like his character design. They don't like his, um, corny on main, or they just think he's just positive for the sake of positive, but I think it works well. I even like that scene with Amaranth and Zidane that we had, uh, last stream. I thought that was a good bit of development for both of them. It turns out, you know, Amaranth kind of sucks and con is confusing and just does and says stupid shit. But even he has a little bit of development.
Not much, but it's enough. This takes me to the treasure chest. That's a lot of money that I'm never going to use. How the fuck do I get out of here now? Vinny, who's the best Simpsons character? Says a, car a person in chat named Superintendent Chalmers. Yes. Um, Skinner before they changed his character. know a lot of Simpsons. I really don't. Like, I'm just kind of talking out my ass. I've seen a video about it and I've seen a lot of early episodes. I like Skinner. Ye gods! You know, I like that voice, his attitude, his ratitude. But, again, I don't have the same level of Simpson uh, fanaticism as a lot of people. We'll never get anywhere if we keep going back and forth. It's like we can't go any further. Yeah. We'll handle these controls so you can take the others and wait by the elevator. Yeah. That's a good idea. You guys operate the controls while we head for, uh, out for that elevator. Alright, let's do it. You got the controls, everyone. Hmm. Backstage work ain't all that bad. All of us must work together until this ordeal has passed. Let me handle this part. You go on ahead. Yeah, I just got Bappy mode activation. The elevator. I don't think I've ever seen this. Three people to press a button. Yeah, and Queen is like, I, I not here. I belong nowhere. Oh, Queena is in the corner. What, what the hell are you doing down there, Queena? Wow, even with Babby mode, I'm still not getting this. This is a good way of implementing Babby mode. Walls look yummy. 
and so the rest of the party was trapped down there forever. It's a sad story, and it has a tragic ending. Another Moogle? Okay, yeah, I don't like those. Those eye walls? No thanks. A letter from Moorock. I wonder what it's all about. This is my first time using Mognet. My first letter, Koopo. What should I write about, Koopo? What the heck was that all about, Koopo? <laughs> What's Mognet? Again, not sure why Terra has Moogles. Considering I did a bunch of grinding already, I'm turning battles off for this part. boots. Chad, I'm being called a fake gamer. Help. Help, I'm being repressed! I still want to know who taught the word bimbo to Aiko. Stairs behind that chest. Oh. Double cheats. Yeah. stairs there's stairs what am i what am i looking for oh i thought that was go oh wait that does take me all the way down what the fuck and benny hill music really is perfect for this kind of shit There are other warp in the previous room. There are. Wow, I didn't even see those. I thought I was, like, missing something vital. Oh, I was just new boot goofing. Got a beanie, Mel. You know, I, I, there you go. Got a beanie. Bing. Boom. Bada. Steiner with auto-regenerate is going to be very, very good. 
Steinman. You know, Steinman wrote Elton John John's lyrics. Elpton. Did I say Elpton John? All right. Do another quick save. What's the next JRPG you plan on streaming in the far future? Eventually, Final Fantasy VIII, I'd imagine. Eventually. Um, Mario Luigi, does that count as JRPG? One of those? Yeah, just those. Final Fantasy VII Remake. If you count that, I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't, but if you want like old school or more classic JRPGs, then those are the ones I'm thinking for now. And Dragon Quest XI, the occasional stream of that from time to time, I think. HP. Wait, man eater instead? Okay. Motion and wind and lightning resistance. Well, hang on a minute. Who's got the robe of lords? Oh, Vive. Don't forget wind immunity on Zadingus, but w what has wind immunity? Vinny, are you going to stream that Secret of Mana sequel? Yes. Unless it's shit, and then I'll just stream the original. Ribbon? Oh, okay. Danger ahead, Koopo. Trust me, I would know. I've been here for 30,000 years. There's the observatory. You told me you'd become my angel of death. But think for a moment. Isn't life death itself? It must kill other life forms to survive. Sometimes it even kills those with whom it shares blood. To live is to give life meaning. Yet one must take others' lives to survive. A mature civilization becomes aware of this paradox. Terra's souls will sleep until they forget such nonsense. They will begin a new life in a new dimension. It's a world in which life and death become one. That is the dimension in which we are meant to live as beings that transcend life and death. Zidane, I'll ask you one more time. Who are you? You're a sad man, Garland. We know more than you. We're not perfect, but we have friends who help us. That is reason enough for us to live. I don't know, this beyond life and death stuff kind of sounds cool. Sounds kind of fun! We live to protect the ones we love. 
I may not know who I really am, but that is my question alone to answer. It took us a long time, but we've all found our way. Then show me! Lecture me again when you are on the verge of death. Why do you have a dragon in your possession? I guess that's fine. Uh-oh, here comes the twister. Jesus, that does some pretty serious shit right there. This has got grand armor. No, this has got dragon mail and Kaiser knuckle. Yeah, miss, huh? Let's do slow, Vive. Vinny, do you remember slow Luigi? I do. Oh, Jesus. Uh, uh, well, damn. Steiner is just too goddamn powerful. Hope, uh, hope I didn't need that dragon mail. Garland, tell me, what is it that you want to accomplish? The restoration of Terra! Isn't it obvious? No, that's what the people of Terra want. Why aren't you asleep with the rest of them? I was created to oversee Terra. I exist to wait for a time when this world is without life or death. I am the absolute controller of this planet. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't seem like that bad of a dude. <laughs> no, I mean, he's a shithead, make no mistake. If he didn't want to destroy um, Gaia then I would maybe say he's not that bad. Are we the baddies? I mean, he's just, you know, trying to get his people alive again and, and you know, to give them a home, I guess. Like, I kind of understand his viewpoint. He's just he's doing this in a very shitty way. You do that ever to the boy. Of 
course, it's a miss. Jesus, Steiner, what the hell are you doing? Would this work on Zidane? I can't really tell. Yeah. I think we're a little over leveled. Couldn't steal anything, for fuck's sake. I can't wait for the match to pause so Aiko can call him a himbo. <laughs> wow, you're a weird himbo. I got ninja gear, that's good enough. Steiner dispatch of this knave. This duck bag. Damn it, Phoebe. You know you could do better than that. You know Thundaga? Kupo. Ah! You fight well. Give it up, Garland. <laughs> what the? Oh, shit. This is too easy. The Invincible is mine. Now I have the power to control all souls. Garland gave me everything without a fight. The old fool was too busy dealing with him. Now only death awaits him. Poor Garland. Bitten by his own dog. This is no accident. Fate has chosen me to become the new ruler of Terra. Time for me to put on the finishing touches. Just gonna float his ass down, huh? Yep, alright. Now this is a himbo. I must say, I truly love you all. You not only broke the seal to Terra, but did me the favor of defeating Garland. Zidane, you are truly an extraordinary genome, deserving of my love. What are you doing here, Kuja? That's not a very nice way to greet your brother. Shut up. You're no brother of mine. Oh, such ferocity. Master Garland, he intends to fight Terra. Kuja... What are you scheming? Scheming me? Watch me as I defeat these enemies of Terra. Come on now, you may sleep alongside the souls of Terra. For all eternity! Is 
diner. Do your thing. Do the big strong sword muscles. That was the hardest steal to get, that light robe. That was the very, very small percent chance. Phoebe's just dancing. Just having fun. That's what it's all about, really. It's all about having fun. We, we like to have fun here. <laughs> you call that an attack? Yeah, it's a pretty good one. Kind of fucked you up, didn't it? Didn't it? Didn't it fuck you up? That's pretty good, though. I know of at least one person that's having a conniption every time I do my shitty Scottish accent. I will keep doing it. You have my word. Show me your true power. You will not underestimate my true power. All right. While well, Steiner and Vivi just fucking shit up while Zidane continues to miss his steals. Now that wasn't a, a Scooby-Doo voice, that was Anakin Skywalker. Same thing. Yeah, same thing. Got it. Got all three steals. Oh, you can eat a big fucking funnel cake sized dick. Binyak mail. I love that we're just dropping meteors on Kuja over and over and over again. Yeah, it's a Dane final hit. Story appropriate. Ugh. Kuja. This is the power of trance. Hmm. I'll show you my true power. There's his tail. Oh fuck, he's got Ultima? This is the power I've longed for. The mighty power of souls. They assault any threat that tries to destroy them. What do you mean? It's trance. You know how it works. But a normal trance won't be enough to defeat you. You're all as resilient as Oglops. Even tiny Moogles possess the power of trance. When I saw that... When I saw that in Gulag Volcano, I came up with a plan. It was easy. I just needed to bow borrow the power from wretched souls that can't die. Where did I acquire it? It was the invincible, or should I say, that large eyeball in the sky? The ship sucked up the souls of Medane Sari, 
and the Aoife tree, Alexandria, to feed upon them. When it fought Bahamut at the Aoife tree, the Invincible drew in a powerful spirit. Can you guess to whom it belonged? Queen Bronze Soul, the soul of your mother. The souls trapped inside the Invincible welcomed me with open arms. They were fed up with being your prisoners, Garland. So, Master Garland, you are no longer needed. And after you've worked so hard, I shall rule Terra and Gaia with my unconditional love from now on. What will you do with such power? Master Garland, you of all people should accept defeat graciously. Ah, how sad. Any last words? Your power is meaningless. Ah! Now it's your turn. Should I kill you quickly to show my appreciation for all you've done? Or should I kill you slowly and painfully to show you my love? Oh, I've got a great idea. How's this? I'll make you pillars for my castle. You'll all decorate my castle as a symbol of my eternal kingdom. How do you like that? No. Never. You could never build an eternal kingdom. That voice. Garland? Did you leave something behind? Do you think a defect like you could last forever? What? What do you mean? I built you to last only until the worthy genome, Zidane, grew. It was too dangerous to let you last any longer than that. What are you saying? There's a limit on your life. You'll be dead soon, Liquid Snake. Even as I die, you'll have died without ever leaving your mark on the world. Fox? Die! <laughs> what an interesting lie. You're telling me that my life will end soon? <laughs> nice try, Garland, but I won't fall for your silly tricks. Garland? Garland? Answer me! You were created to destroy. You are a mortal. A, a, a mortal? I, I'm finished? I don't believe you. Why would I believe such a silly story? You're telling me that I'll die soon? Now that I'm more powerful than anyone? I'm gonna die? Lose my soul? <laughs> <laughs> what comedy! Zidane, isn't it hilarious? I'll die just like the black mages I so despise. I single-handedly brought chaos onto Gaia, but in the end, I'm nothing but a worthless doll? Kucha. Kucha? I won't let it happen. I won't, I won't let this world exist without me. Forgive my parlance, but Kuja, you a bitch. Kuja, I can't believe him. Zidane, we must escape before the tower collapses. 
But how? We need to carry the injured out, too. We must seize that ship Kuja mentioned, the Invincible. It's docked at the bottom of the tower. Oh, yeah, but... All right, you guys head for the ship. I'm gonna rescue the genomes. They're victims. I can't just abandon them. I'm coming with you. Garnet? I don't want you to leave us again. So I'll keep watch over you. Okay. We should be able to go back through the warp gate on the other tower. Garnet and I will head back to Bron Ball. You guys come get us with the Invincible. This little stanky piano. I, li I like when the piano gets stanky. Yeah, Garnet might be a little under leveled. teleporter leading to the upper levels and might take us back to Bron Ball. Ah. What's wrong? Behind you. They're just eyes. It's okay, let's go. <laughs> just eyes? How very bold of you. Battles are still are back on. Um, Garnet? Yes? Um... Uh, about what happened earlier. But what is it, Zidane? Oh, jeez. I, I feel like I'm being watched. <laughs> Just say it. We need to hurry. Um, you came to my rescue, right? And, uh... What you said to me, it, it made me really happy. Zidane... How can I say this? Um... Thanks. Hurry, hurry! This dinky old tower is going to collapse any minute! Amaranth, that's not hurrying, you dumbass. Queena, that's really not hurrying! I know find good food on Terra. Maybe I eat eyeball over there. Queena, hurry up or you'll be left behind. Oh, I'm happy we leave. No good food anywhere. I think we're still okay. Let's evacuate the genomes. Garnet has a great character arc, too. Maybe, like, one of the most substantial in the entire game. So, Dane, let's split up. Yeah, I'll go this way. We'll meet up when the Invincible arrives. Oh my gosh, this ship is enormous. Judging from our current position, I believe the bridge is that way. Hold it. Where, where's Queena? Ah, is she late again? I arrive. I warp inside from bottom of ship. Why were you underneath the ship in the first place? Oh, save it for later. We must get the ship moving. How the fuck did you know how to do that, Queena? What are you still doing here? We need to evacuate. Oh, what's the point? They're only empty vessels. Stop talking like that. Do you really believe what you just said? Unlike the rest of them... Garland gave me a soul that I might replace you and Kuja. But Garland is dead. Terra will soon be destroyed. What's the point? I asked myself the same question. Did you find an answer? No, but 
maybe the point is to just try. It's going to be hard, but I've got my friends. It isn't so bad. Hey, what's your name? Huh? Garland gave you a name, didn't he? My name is Mikoto. Mikoto, huh? That's a nice name. A lot of people are going to call you that from now on. You have to find the answer yourself. It'll be hard, but you can do it. Let's go to the new world, Mikoto. There you can find your answer. Aiko's just going to call her Bimbo from here on out because, you know, Aiko's going to ache. Garnet, where is Zidane? He'll be here any minute. He's looking for the last genome. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Zidane. Sorry I'm late, but now we've got everyone. Everyone on board now. We must leave immediately. good music. Well, I mean, there's still good music in the game, but this particular brand of good music is now, is now gone, sadly. We made it. Yes, we managed to escape from Terra, but... Well, what's wrong, Freya? Well, I was talking to Amaranth about it earlier. You don't think this is the end, do you? Are you talking about Kuja? Do you really think he perished with Terra? Even with his power, it is hard to believe that he had escaped unscathed. What do you think, Zidane? What do you think Kuja will do next? He'll probably try to destroy Gaia. But how? There was one thing Garland said. Something about a tree that serves as a gateway of souls between Gaia and Terra. That must be. Yeah, it's the Aoife tree. Everyone! You must come look! Come with me! What's up, Steiner? Can't you just tell us? It would be faster to come see it on the bridge. What's up? They're just clouds. It's not a normal cloud. What? Let's lower our altitude and see. Don't you see? Our altitude is not very high. And this is all we can see. Then what could it be? It's, it's mist. It's what black mages are made out of, and what used to cover the mist continent. The mist has covered all of Gaia. Why? How? Kuja, what are you planning now? End of disc three. We've already had the disc four um, overlay up for a while now, though. Thanks. They were uneasy at first, but I think they'll get along fine. There's no need to thank me. You've done us all a great service. It wasn't a big deal. Well, anyway, um, everything's going to be okay. Then there's this song. Which, again, just fucking beautiful. Are you sure it's okay for them to stay here? Of course it is. So, this was Vivi's idea? Yeah. He wanted the genomes to start their new lives here. 
were similar in many ways. Maybe we can understand them better. They might open up to us. Right. Well, he also said, if you guys can get along with the genomes, maybe humans and black mages can live alongside each other someday. Like you and Vivi. I didn't even know if I truly understood him until recently. We'll take good care of them. Your friends are our friends. Thanks. Is this a monster? He's a chocobo, not a monster. He's called Bobby Corwin. Oh, you gave him a name. Yeah, Bobby Corwin. Isn't it a great name? Sounds great. Bobby Corwin, huh? I think Bobby Corwin likes you too. It won't bite. Oh, come on. He's just a little baby chocobo. Bobby Corwin, no. Come back here. Wow, I think Bobby Corwin really likes our new friend. Is Bobby Corwin a contest winner? Can't you just call him by his first name? Why do you display these items? Why? Uh, for the customers, I, I think. What are customers? Well, they bring money and they hand the money over to the shop and then... What is money? Money is, uh... Why you care about small things? World very simple place. World only have two things. Things you can eat and things you know can eat. I mean, yeah. Does the water ever stay still? Water flows, doesn't it? The water of Bron Bal was always still. Hey, did you know that time flows just like water? So water and time both flow in Gaia? Looks like they're off to a good start. Hmm. It's like watching kids play. That's not their fault. They've only just begun to live their lives. Can lost time be recovered? I don't know. But there's only there's only one thing we can do. Of course. We must protect them from anyone who tries to take their time away from them. Princess, is this really what you wish? Hmm? What are you talking about? Akuja must have done something in the Aoife tree to cover the world in mist. Do you not think it is wise to consult Regent Sid before the final battle? Kuja probably plans on destroying Gaia. If I go to Lindblom now and tell the Regent about it, it might cause a panic. I'm sure everyone is apprehensive about the re reappearance of the mist. I need Uncle Sid to protect Lindblom right now. Indeed. We must defeat the enemy on our own. Even if we go back to Lindblom to get equipped, please don't tell Uncle Sid about our plans. Are we ready? Yep. Let's go. You haven't got a chance. You saw Kucha's power. He destroyed a world by himself. You don't even have a million and one chance of defeating him. You'll all die. Wow, this girl knows lots of difficult words. Doesn't she? She's a bit cynical, but take good care of her, will you? Her name is Mikoto. She's kind of like my little sister. What? Mikoto, listen to your big brother and make some... <laughs> and make some friends. H how silly. That's too cute. We might be desperate insects to Kuja, but I'll show you how powerful we can be. Even a fly lives for a day. I don't think that's what Zidane meant. Let's go to the Aoife tree. We won't let Kik Kuja have his way.
God, that whole scene just killed me. I don't know all of that. It was just... I think it was the music. It's like a combination of all the stuff going on there. This this game gets really emotional. Jesus Christ. Yeah. No, this this game I forgot. And especially now that now that I'm older, I guess. It like affects me even a little bit more. Then he please no more chocobo treasure hunts. Well, I mean, they're done. Yeah, the theme of mortality, life and death. I mean, it really... It's just... I think it's handled perfectly. God. You can get ultimate now from the destroyed ice blocks. You can fight Ozma now. I will, but the stream is about to come to an end. I don't expect to defeat Ozma, but I'll give it a shot. These enemies are new. They're, they're just scummy because, you know, the mist is everywhere, so there's new scummy enemies. You should probably do Hades first. Okay. Well, next time I stream this, I will do Magnet as much of it as I can. And I will do Hades and Ozma. Next stream will be side quests. And then I think there's probably like one more stream after that, which is the final area. So maybe two or three streams left. Two, you think? It depends, I guess, how, how long the side quests take. If I can do the side quests in one stream, then yeah, two streams left. The final dungeon is short. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Well, it's shorter than some of the other Final Fantasy Final Dungeons. What a strange tribe. Seems like they live in hiding. I'm asking him about the genome world. I never knew weapons were used to hurt people, but we have magic. Why would we need weapons? Do you think weapons will disappear when everyone's happy? We read this one already. This life form flies. Why does it fly? Guy is full of unnecessary things. Yeah, we know. Carl Pilkington genome? Yeah, pretty much. There's a lot of uh, useless stuff out there. It's a bit, bit weird. A bit shit. something else just now, didn't I? I bought 
thief hat and I bought one other thing. What, what, what else did I buy? Oh, it was dark gear. That's not that great. I like that the black mages have new friends now. That's kind of cool. It's obviously an imperfect life form, but I feel a strange affinity to it. We will have more chocobos, or we will have more chocobos when Bobby Corwin lays eggs? I see, so you enclose a captured life form and conduct research here. Did that sentence start with we will or will we? Will we? Well, I don't know why I read it. Like, I just said, my brain just reversed those words. It's very strange. Everyone is back. We have new friends. Bobby Corwin is here. So many great things happened all at once. Isn't that nice? Bobby Corwin is here. a name now that he's one of us. How about number 777? These people are trying to call me a funny name. I'll give him a name. How about number 333? Bobby Corwin means Boko from Final Fantasy V. Oh, okay. I am supposed to be assisting in the operation of this shop. What do I do? They're dates. You eat them. Water flowing, time flowing, things don't stay the same. I don't understand. Hmm. Do you hear something? What? What do you mean? Some item you have is responding to this machine. Will there ever be an age without war? Dreams and magic have no meaning without a civilized world. The ignorant ones always strive for power, never realizing that what lies beyond is despair. But maybe they will bring with them hope and show us a new way of life. God bless the visitors from the land of dreams and magic, and glory to the soldiers of light who will lead us to the new world. This is FF3. What was that? A resident spirit inside an item responded to this amplifier. What a beautiful song. That's cool. Yeah, I've never seen this before. This, this is nice. I guess the people of Gaia decide when to rest based on the presence of light. There's always light in Terra. The same method wouldn't apply there. I realized one thing after listening to her stories. Why do you think the genomes and we have so many things in common? Uh, I don't know. Why, why? We were manufactured in Alexandria, but that technology wasn't developed by Alexandria. Kuja knew how genomes were made. He manufactured us based on that knowledge. If Kuja is also a genome, I wonder how he felt when he manufactured us. Well, he despised you. This is where you bury the dead? What's the point of this? It isn't like the dead would appreciate it. You're right. But I don't think we build cemeteries for the dead. Sure, it may seem pointless to you, but... How can I describe it? It's so that we can think like this. We'll never forget you. We'll remember you every time we stand at your grave. And we won't let the fear of death 
which each of us knows stop us from living our lives. Because my friends will remember me when I'm here. I'll never forget my friend, Mr. 36. I ran away once because I was afraid of dying, but I came back because this village is my favorite place. Welcome to Black Cat Synthesis Shop. Jeez. Um, yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff here I could potentially synthesize at some point. I just don't know which of it is good. I want to talk to you. Am I not supposed to? I'm like going through this character. Never mind. Um, next stream, maybe I can do some of the synthesis stuff. I think his name should be number 444. No, it should be number 888. That's enough. I don't need a name. Oh, you don't like even numbers? Then how about number 555? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Number 666. Definitely not. hear the black mage music one more time anyway we're gonna save here uh this is again a little shorter than the usual final fantasy 9 stream but very heavy a lot has happened next week on final fantasy 9 is the end lots of good stuff ahead um but this one this was probably just the past, like, four hours of this game alone have been nuts. So, anyway, thank you, everybody. The journey is coming to an end. And, uh, of course, it was all, it was all really good. I'll remember this stream for a very, very long time. But yeah, we got about two streams left.